Welcome to part number 32 of Gran Turismo 5 A Spec. This is the movie Chicane, and today we're going to be doing the Japanese 90s challenge. So, off to the amateur series we go, and here's the Japanese 90s challenge. Two races, one at Sakuba, one at Cape Ring. And I'm going to go ahead and use this race, None of those cars, because they're 2OP. B OP. Let's go ahead and use the first car that we bought for this LP. Good old Toyota Celica. Just for you, Celica. And we're gonna use the Honda Civic for Cape Ring. But first for Sakuba, gonna use the Toyota. Imagine you bought a hacked PS3. Not really a big deal. I mean, I my PS3 is hacked. Holy shit, you actually cracked your controller wings of redemption style? When you're playing MGS2 on European Extreme? Good lord. By the way, Salika, subscribe to the UFC veteran because he's doing playthroughs on European Extreme and he's completely fucking insane for doing that. Alright, trying this again. So, my tires are complete shit, so I upgraded the Sport Hearts. There's an S14 in the front that's like completely kicking ass, so let's try this again. That S14 is the bull sitter, I think. Oh yeah, this is way better. Much, much better now. Gotta be nice and careful. Yep, just passing them left and right. Crazy what tires can do for you. Maybe I could have hit the brakes just a little bit later, but I don't know. I think that's still good. Yeah, what's up, Water Walker? How you doing? And a 13.2, okay, not bad. And he closed the door. He opened it again, thank you. Red and white Celicas, side by side. Now the S14's all mine. Have I? No, you haven't. I remember your name was Rally Salika Official, and I was like, why is why does he have the official? I was like, this guy doesn't own. I don't think this guy actually runs a rally race called the Rally Salika, right? No, but yeah, yeah. Go ahead and tell me, yeah, please. I'm actually pretty interested at this point. I'll tell you why I named myself the Moving Chicane, just because it was a joke. But then it just kind of stuck. They were just slowly reeling him in. Are so much more responsive on their braking, the new tires, and whatnot. Do I still have TCS on? I do. Or... Can I quickly get around the S14? If not, draft off him. Yeah, we're gonna draft him because he's he has much more power than we do on the straights.
Okay, I've nearly got up to the minute tens. I just kind of cut him off there. He's gonna pass his spear, isn't he? Oh, that's really nice, dude. That's why your name is for Rally Salika? Okay. And fucking hell, dude. Seriously, why do you guys in Europe get the GT4s and we don't? I swear to God, America is like hated when it comes to cars. Like I know it's not a, uh, I know it's not a big truck or anything, but still, that's how I feel about that. But yeah, dude, that that'll be beautiful. Get him a good old. 94 Celica can get it back to him. I don't know, my dad really wants to get like... Maybe it's like about getting shots I don't know. Oh, that was close. What car do we want to buy in the future? Something reliable. That's it. I just want something that's freaking reliable. My Mitsubishi is not reliable at all. Honestly, I, this might sound kind of weird, but I want like a compact SUV. Here's why. The reason why is because I want to start traveling more. So like, I want to go, you know, I want to go to different places around the country. Maybe drive out of the country. Maybe go to Mexico one day. Maybe go to Canada one day. So I want to get a compact SUV that's, you know, not only sporty and reliable, but like comfortable too. Hey, Tasty Sandwich, what car is this? Celica? There we go, we win. Second attempt, we have to upgrade the tires, but hey, got the job done. Pretty much almost the same finishing order. Is it some sort of GTR? Well, yes, it is. Technically, it is a Celica GTR. Yeah, aka the band rally car. There you go. All right, well, that is the race over. Let me go and save the replay real quick, and then we move on to the final race. GT5 sounds all meshed together at some point. Yeah. Ooh, you have a 97 Lancer GSR Evo 4? You lucky bastard. Anyways, moving on to the final race for the Japanese 90s challenge. I'm gonna use the Honda Civic SIR. Oh, fuck no, dude. I did drive an FF, but not today. Maybe, maybe another day, Tasty Sandwich. You know what? Uh, I, I, if, if I had a camera, I, I would so do it, but... That's the thing, because the shifter is on the right for my wheel, I won't be able to shift, I'd have to use my left hand, so I guess tape my left hand to the wheel. So I own a 2003 Mitsubishi Eclipse GS. I like that car, it's fun to drive, but it's so unreliable. Hey, okay, okay, how about this? Jimmy should do, okay, Jimmy should do, like, Jimmy should drive the EG6 in 
If there's an Assetto Corsa mod for it, but he should tape his hand. Just like Shingo. Tape his hand to the wheel and do a North Slifer challenge like that. Yep. That's his next video idea. I'm gonna tell him. Oh, actually, there's like a cool place on his Discord, isn't there? For. Oh, look, still 80. Anyways, isn't there a place on in his Discord for suggestions? I'll just post it there. Unless someone beats me to the punch and does it themselves! I mean, his shifter's on the left, isn't it? So... That should work. Dude, imagine how much your fucking hands will hurt just by taping the goddamn... You know, taping your goddamn hands to the wheel. I know, right? Amateur. What a loser. I love understeer. Oh, can we make it? Yes, we can. Oh yeah. Well, no. I mean, he could turn down the the t. Yes, he could turn down the um, FFB on the wheel. We don't want the boy to break his wrist, but we just want to see how he'll do it. I think I should do it. Yeah, I might consider doing it too. Well, first we have to see if there's an EG6 mod for a set of Corsa. Then we tell him to do it. A GSX? My brother used to own a GSX when he used to ride bikes. <laughs> you get to have a double cheese in first. In this country, you can get a one for a dollar. Oh, so there is one. Okay. My line is horrendous through this section. I hate this track. I hate the northern section so much. And it's just like, why five laps around here? I prefer three lap races with more races, like three or five races instead of two. Like if, if I had the ability to make a mod for a GT5, I'd bring back all the races that were cut out, so like the, the four hours of Daytona and the NA Sports Car Cup, and I'd make every race minimum three race requirement instead of just one or two. Get in the bin. Yeah, I hate Cape Ring. I don't hate the, the, the southern part. I think the southern part of Cape Ring is awesome. The northern part, I just don't like the way it flows, except for the inside. Like, Cape Ring inside, I don't mind it too much, but just this... This roundabout, I don't like this at all. It's just like, oh boy, we're turning in a circle. And then the big-ass jump here. Yeah, it is unique. But to be honest, Capering isn't that bad. Like, okay, yeah, I don't like the circuit too much, but at the same time, better than some of the original Forza tracks. Like Rio and Forza 6, I don't like that circuit whatsoever. I just think it's dumb. Prag, I think that's what it's how it's pronounced. Or, you know, P-R-A-G-U-E in Forza. I do not like that circuit either. I, I guess, you know... Oh, and any of the Sega GT tracks. Nope. Don't have fun with them. There you go. I, I guess PD... PD is kind of, um... 
it, not kind of. They're the masters of making original tracks. Yeah, unique is often another word for crap. There you go. Frog. Got it. A frog. Paris? They have a Paris track in Forza 5? I wouldn't know because I've never played Forza 5. And here's the thing. I've, I've played Forza, you know, I have Forza 7. I've played it. I might LP it in the future. I recently got Forza 6 free because I might have said this on another stream or recording. But um, the Forza 6, I had bought the Ultimate Edition for free for about 50 bucks because I won a gift card from a tournament. And then a friend of mine did the LA Auto Show tournament with Hyundai, finished second, got seventy five, got a seventy five dollar gift card, and he had no Xbox. He just gave me the card, and I bought all the DLC for him. Because you know Microsoft's really good at taking the games off the shelves. Oh, Bernie's Alps. I yeah, Bernie's Alps is fun. That circuit, I don't really mind too much. I I like it. It's a fun course. Not my favorite, but. I enjoy it. Uh, EP, we don't need to mess up. Only people who watch Cat are gonna understand this reference, so I'm not talking about Ayrton, but no need to bust a Senna on the final lap or towards the end of the race. Me too, me too, Rick. Me too. SSR 11 is one of the best tracks that they've ever made. It's a shame they only appeared in two games, possibly three because of GCPSP. Forza 4, I mean, I've heard of that rumor about Forza 4 being backwards compatible, but I... I don't know, I mean, I'm just gonna wait till Microsoft makes an official announcement. Oh, penalty, sorry. Okay, there's my penalty serve. Happy UFC? Jeez. Let me have some fun, damn it. Hey, when I go to... If I go to Vegas again for the, for the America's Finals, as a spectator, I'll make it my I'll make it a mission to talk to Cause. See, the problem was that I couldn't talk to Cause because he was he was probably the busiest person when it came to talking to personnel, the club owners, girls, and celebrities. He was the one person that I wanted to meet that I didn't get a chance to meet, and I even shake his hand because I'm not really the type of person to intrude on people when they're super busy. Him and Z28, they're the two people that I really wanted to meet at the America's Finals. But unfortunately, I mean, Z, he was pretty pissed after the final, which, hey, I mean, you gotta kind of understand. Better to, you know, if you're, if you weren't really happy with the performance and whatnot, then, um, can't, re you know, it's better to not be... In a party environment when you're mad rather than be there when you know, ruin the environment for everybody else. Translator son, yeah, that is true. I mean, he's speaking in English before. Not a whole lot, but. MGS HD collection on PS now. That's cool. Crowdfund a mod with Jay Behavior Voices Snake and MGS5? I don't know if I would really want that, to be honest. Here's why. There's not that much dialogue in MGS5 from fucking Venom Snake to begin. He hardly talks through the entire game. So it's like, what's even the point? Anyways, the point of us doing the Japanese Nights Challenge is... To win the Nissan Siladi. So yeah, we're going full Mako and Sayuki now. Except the car has a wing on it, so... Yeah, we can't remove it. But I wanted this card for the FR challenge. 
Yeah, see, I don't really... That's the thing, I don't mind Kiefer too much for MGS5. It's not like they made Metal I don't know, it's not like they made a Metal Gear Solid game where... Either Big Boss or Solid Snake were young, you know what I mean? If they replaced Kiefer... Yeah, it was intentional, Tasty Sandwich, it was definitely intentional. But see, I don't mind it too much because it's like, well, yeah, he's, he's older at this point, he's much older. So, yeah, Kiefer Sutherland, you know... He kind of fits Venom Snake a little bit, but definitely David Hayter is the best actor for Snake. Any Snake. Big Boss, Solid Snake, doesn't matter. Hands down. Without a fucking doubt. But anyways, here is our Nissan Silady. Yeah, he did the job well. It's not like they hired like an actor off the street, like, you know, Mega Man X4 actors or anything. Like, what am I fighting for? But anyways, next time on GT5A Spec, we do the World Classic Car Series.